How to avert accidents in the industries during maintenance and servicing? What is lockout trackout? Have you heard of it? Do you want to know more about it? If yes, you have clicked on the right video because here we are going to learn what is lockout tagout. E-Square brings to you a new medium to learn, educate and update your knowledge about lockout tagout through our show, Loto Guru. Namaste, I'm Dr. Nalini Gulati. Let's start learning. Few days ago, I was in a meeting with the safety head of a multinational FMCG company and was astonished to know that most of the personnel on duty were unaware of lockout tagout. Because of this unawareness, a serious accident occurred in their plant claiming the life of one of their highly trained workers. With technological advancement, new and improved equipments, machines are being introduced in the production and service industries. This has resulted in increase of production and at the same time, the risk of getting injuries has also increased side by side because of lack of knowledge in handling the hazardous energies hidden in them. Lockout tagout or LOTO or LOTOTO as it is called sometimes is a safety procedure that is used in industries while servicing or maintenance of machines or equipments to ensure that the dangerous energies present in the machine are properly shut down and prevented from starting up accidentally before completion of job. There are several hazardous energies that power a machine at a time and are equally capable of causing serious hazards or even deaths if these are left uncontrolled. All these energies must be disconnected from the equipment and should be logged and tagged out in such a manner that no one else can re-energize it accidentally. This process of controlling energies is also known as isolation and the sources of machine or equipment that controls the flow of energy are called isolation points. So this was an overview of lockout tagout in general. Let's start with understanding lockout first. The main purpose of lockout is to keep a machine or equipment in de-energized state during maintenance or servicing. In order to do so, one needs to identify all kinds of energies and their isolation points first as there might be many energies working on an equipment such as electrical, pneumatic, hydraulic, thermal, chemical and so on. To isolate these energies from their sources, specific standardized devices and padlocks are applied at isolation points. This has to be done in such a way that after the application of these devices, no one can access that source or be able to re-energize it back. Isolation is not complete unless and until relevant information of this application is provided. This is done with the help of a tag. Tags are used to serve two purposes. Firstly, it acts as a visual warning sign and alerts others about the ongoing work. Secondly, it provides information like name of the person who has applied the log, the reason for isolation, date of work, etc. A standardized tag is one which is resistant to chemicals, dust and nearby environment so that the information written stays unaffected till the work on the machine is completed. So with this video, we have just got started with lockout tagout 
there is a lot more to learn and we are here to help you understand it better. If you have any questions related to lockout tagout, please feel free to ask in the comment section below or email us at loto at the rate safetylock.net. We will be glad to answer all your queries soon. See you in our next video. Thank you.